Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Isle of Man in the UK. This is John and Mike's MMA Corner. I'm joined right now with Mike Miller. Sir, thank you very much for coming to speak with me. Uh, and firstly, I want to say you've got to be fighting on the Titan FC card coming up at the end of this month. How did the how did this all come about? How did you get signed up with Titan? What was the story there? Well, uh, I uh, I fought for Titan once before, and um, I was uh, in contact with those guys, and uh, just recently signed uh, with Sucker Punch Management. So uh, they uh, they got me right back in the in the swing of things, and uh, got me on a on a quality show like Titan. So uh, you know I'm, I'm ready to rock with them. They've uh, I enjoyed fighting for them the first time. Now you've had a a bit of a hiatus, let's say, from competing. What's been happening with you while you've been away from the cage? What's what's been happening with you? Well, uh, I pretty much fought pretty regularly from uh, about 2005 to into last year, year before, and uh, just had some injuries I needed to heal up. Um, I think I'd gotten pretty bad laceration of my eye that uh it, it was very deep and uh it, it needed some time to heal the right way you know I don't I don't want it to keep opening up you know and then you're that guy who, who has the the cuts that open up and you get fight stop and stuff like that so you know I needed to take some time off do it the right way and um I did some traveling you know I, I, I went over to Saudi Arabia and uh at a shout out to Arena MMA and Fitness, my guys over there. Uh, did some teaching over there. It's an American top team affiliate, and uh, you know, focus a little more on technique and teaching, and still training, of course, but just uh, a little time away from the, the grind of training and uh, just abusing my body, you know. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> kind of giving yourself longevity, I suppose, by having that break. I think so. Uh, you know, there's there's no real off season in this game. Yeah. So if there's no if, if there's no off season, you gotta make one. Yes. Uh, nobody can go. Nobody can go 100 miles an hour every day of the year. It's just not possible. No. No. And that's uh, that's where injuries come along. That's when you start pushing through injuries and they get worse, and then you're out for longer than you you, you would be originally if you just had stopped for a little bit. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> So with you, I remember because you said about the laceration on your eyes. Because I, I believe Vandalay Silva had surgery to remove the dead tissue above his eyes, if I recall. It's uh, <clears throat> it's crazy, like, but <clears throat> you know, it 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 does you know it does build up. People don't realize, you know, even from sparring just in the gym. You know, people don't realize the accumulation of just a jab in the gym. I, I know you're not going full tilt, but people don't realize the accumulation it has and the effect it has. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the wear and tear, especially if you're, if you're sparring consistently um, on your body, if you don't give yourself a break, then you're going to break. <laughs> <laughs> you know, especially if you, we're, 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 we're talking cuts and stuff like that, yeah. you know, the, uh, knee, knees, all, all this stuff, you know, like, I think uh, people just see us in the cage half the year and it's like it's a constant grind that, that you don't really see so you, you gotta train smart with with your time away from the intensity and stuff I suppose you had a bit of time to reflect on yourself as an athlete what you maybe feel you need to work on more or you know have a kind of bit of an honest moment saying look I know I'm not the best at let's say let's say jab let's say the jab I know I'm not the best at the job. I need to work on this. I need to. Have you? Did you go anywhere specific to maybe work on anything in particular? Have you spent any time dedicating any one area of the sport? Um, yeah, I, I spent a lot of uh, I spent a lot of time working on uh, more of the technical aspect of my BJJ game. Mm. Um, during the time away, I uh, I got promoted to black belt. And that's really where I put a lot of my focus on jiu-jitsu and uh, the finer, finer details of jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, I'm a martial artist first, and that, that was important to me. You know, I, I wanted to earn my black belt, and if I'm not competing, there's no reason to stop training. And that's never yeah. been me, really, anyway. I'm always training. But I just 
wanted to, to get my ground game better and work on some of the finer points of the, of, of the ground game. And, uh, you know, I was brown, brown belt like four years, I think. So uh, just wanted to, to really sharpen up my sense of game. And uh, when, when you earn your black belt, you know that you deserve it, you know. So yeah. I really want to put, put a lot of my time into uh, the last year. Well, congratulations on getting your black belt. That's a huge honor and a huge moment in any martial arts martial arts career. Really, you know, getting getting that kind of kind of uh, let's say rank or kind of I don't know. I don't know how you describe that moment. It must have felt pretty special. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it, you really think back to that that time span of you know it took me about 10 years and uh, you know training and everything else too so uh, definitely definitely special and you know big shout out to all my trainers that helped me get that this far you know Cam McCart from the beginning uh, Adam Nori Singer at the Hardcore Gym all the way up to Ricardo Laborio and Marcos D'Amato those, all those guys had a big impact on my on my game and you know big thanks to those guys and uh, yeah it's special moment when you uh, when you can put that much time into something and, and be recognized for it for sure God just think back to the first time you started BJJ and you were getting tossed around choked out you just didn't have a clue yeah Absolutely. you're a fish <laughs> yeah. fish out of water <laughs> yeah I, I remember the and first as time as, as much as I appreciate it it's like I would never want to go back to being a white ball again <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time of rolling, mate. Oh, it's it's an experience. It's 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 an eye opener, isn't it? You know, I had guys that were. I was at the time. I I think I was about. Oh, let me think. I was probably around two hundred and twenty pounds, maybe a little, little bit more. <clears throat> and I, I just went in there and I thought, oh, I know what. I'll I'll just crush these guys. And there were kids, just probably about one hundred and fifty pounds at most, and they were just literally they had me wrapped around their little finger, all day long. I, I remember it still and I just can't I, I just kept I'd get tapped I'd get up I'm like right that's it I'd go back at them they tapped me about 10 seconds later I just was just couldn't get it I just couldn't get my head around it it's just incredible like the the knowledge you get the, the way your body reacts to, especially the what I found was and you will have found it as well is the chokes when at first when someone chokes you you immediately tap you freak out but then after a while you just you just kind of relax into the chokes it's really strange yeah, you relax really into the whole game, I yeah. think. Um, that's, you know, the biggest difference you can tell with some of these guys that are new or just, uh, not very experienced is um, kind of the energy they put into everything. Yeah. Not just offensive, defensive, but just breathing and moving their body. And even when they're static, it's like there's, they're, they're flexing or spending energy. Or, yeah. You know, you got to be very efficient. <clears throat> with all these things that you do and uh you know you can hear that but I don't think that that's something that you can really uh work on like that just has to come with experience yes uh, <clears throat> people yeah. can tell you not to not to flex this not to flex that don't breathe so heavy this and that but these are these are reactions these aren't necessarily uh conscious decisions you know what I mean it no. is. It is experience. You're absolutely oh. on the point there. It's, it's just doing the yeah. same position over and over again, and then you just change it a little bit each time. <clears throat> exactly. So, so what made you? Or so, when did you think to yourself, right? I feel good. My body feels right. Uh, I've I've been away, done a little bit of uh, traveling. I've my, my mindset is right to get back in the cage. When was that? And and what made you decide to then? going back in like because you could have easily just went right I've got my black belt I'm happy coaching maybe going back to Saudi Arabia traveling around you know with the affiliates of ATT around the world maybe and doing a bit of coaching what made you think right I feel good I'm getting back into it now well just being away you really as cliche as it sounds you really have more of an appreciation for what you have and not that I ever took being part of American Top Team Never been questioned. I, I walk in there every day, and I'm grateful. But just being grateful overall for just you know how to 
time to reflect on just basically the hand that I've been dealt in life and how lucky I am and uh, the opportunities that I've had. And, you know, just knowing that I have more to do. I, I haven't, I haven't really reached my full potential. I don't feel like I haven't really. I have more to give. I feel to the sport. I have more to accomplish. You know, I'm not very impressed with what I've done. Um, I kind of started out pretty hot and uh, fizzled a little bit, so I, I, I don't really feel I've, I've lived up to my potential. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to keep going. You can't, you can't just stop and, you know, feel sad for disappointments that you've had or any, any failures that have been had. You know, just got to keep going. Yeah. And, uh, you know, being, being away, being away, just really put, put some things into perspective and while like you said I, I, enjoy, I really enjoyed traveling around and teaching and you know given that I eventually have a have a diploma and something pretty cool I can, well, I can you know get jobs here and there and maybe do some traveling you, you, you can teach you can teach longer than you can uh, fight for so yeah. you know now's the time to, to get back to work and you know make some things happen I'm just like I said, I, I have more to do, and I'm not satisfied with what I've done so far. So, got to get back in there and get back to work. Well, it sounds like you, you've done the right things to get yourself in the right position to to be putting yourself in place for a resurgence. Let's say to to get yourself back out there to get the best out of yourself. You know, you took the time away. You were smart. Even from the coaching, you would have probably got a lot out of that as, as well. And you let your injuries and niggles heal, which means you yourself, when you're training, you probably feel a lot better, you feel a lot fresher, you just have probably a lot more confidence in your body knowing that you're, let's say, injury-free. Yeah, you know, I've, uh, the other thing is, I, r I really feel that I, I can make some more things happen just because I, w I was fighting at the highest level when I really didn't have any experience. You know, I was in WC when I was, you know, early, I was 20, you know. I was in Vegas fighting in WC and security was telling me I couldn't be on the floor because I was so young. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that that was with hardly any experience. And, mm. um, after, you know, 10, 11 years in the game, I, I think that I've reached a level of skill where I can, I can, I can be very competitive. And, uh, you know, people have seen me for a while, but I just turned 29, you know, and uh, I haven't really had any knockouts. I've had one flash knockout, I think, in my career. I had over 30 fights, you know. It's good so going. Guys can't really put me away. So yeah, tough I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Yeah, tough man, tough man. And you've signed with Titan FC, which is, in my opinion, to crack in promotion to get signed itself with. You're going to be on UFC Fight Pass. A lot of eyes are going to be on you. I'll be able to watch it as well here in the UK. It's a great platform to get yourself back back up and going again. I'm looking forward to the fight card itself. I'm looking forward to a lot of guys on this card uh, just putting on performances. We know already that you can put a performance on. From you, you know, like you said, you're a, a best way to put it now is you're a vet. You're not a kid anymore. You know, you're a veteran in the game. And look. It's going to be a great card. It's going to be awesome to watch yourself fight. Before I let you go, though, can you please let anyone at home know what your social media is if they want to jump on, give you a follow? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to get the pen and paper out. <laughs> um, my, my, my handle is M-A-V-Y-M-C-M-A-V-M-A-V. -M -A -V -M -A -V. And that's my, uh, my Instagram and my uh, Twitter. And... I uh, just want to give a shout out to my sponsor, uh, Garden of Life. They always take care of me. Uh, best sponsor I've ever had. And uh, my guys at, at the American Top Team and IHP. And uh, yeah, these are, these are the guys that are behind me. And, uh, you know, very grateful again to be a part of this team, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so lucky and, you know, really just want to put on a performance, you know, that, uh, that not, not just I can be proud of, it, but my team as well. Well, you're in great hands of ATT. You know, I know a handful of guys that train there, and 
that even from the UK that have went over there to train, you know, I know the the level at getting put in there. So you're in fantastic hands. <clears throat> and again, I want to say thank you very much for your time to come on and speak with us all. I look forward, and I, everyone else, but as well, I look forward to you competing for Titan FC. All right, thanks. Thanks for uh, having me on, and uh, good talking with you.